Hey foodies, Chef Kyle here, back for another summer episode. Today we are making eggplant and anchovy pasta in a garlic oil. So my inspiration for this dish is Chinese eggplant takeout, you know, in garlic oil, and then homemade Italian dish. So I'm marrying the two. We're gonna make an exquisite pasta. It's gonna be beautiful, and I'm gonna show you the ingredients right now. So let's take a look. So right here we have Papadelli pasta. So this is our flat durum wheat semolina. So it's slightly yellow, it's dried. It's gonna cook very fast in about three minutes. I'm gonna teach you guys how to confit some vegetables. So we're gonna confit some Chinese eggplant. Very beautiful. It's actually mildly sweet, different than other eggplant, slightly lighter in flavor, but also it's less bitter too. So it has mild sweetness, less bitter. You don't have to take the salt out. So it's very easy on the prep side. And then also to that confit, we're gonna add some onion slices, some cherry tomatoes on the vine. These are beautiful. And then we're gonna add a little bit of thyme. We're gonna add half a lemon and then some garlic cloves. So that's gonna be our confit. And basically when you confit anything, especially vegetables, you're actually preserving it in oil. So when you cook this vegetable confit, you can actually use it for multiple things. I'm gonna show you guys how to actually use it as a spread for some bread we're gonna to toast today. It's gonna to go really well with our pasta. And then also it lasts for two or three weeks. So you can have it throughout the week. It's not gonna go bad. And if you know that you have some vegetables that you need to use up, you could just cook it in oil. A little bit of love goes a long way. Let's go. Now we're gonna prep our Chinese eggplant and we're gonna get all our vegetables confit. So just before we do that, we are making pasta. So I am gonna get my pasta water to a boil. So right now, I have the Chinese eggplant. I'm just gonna take the ends off. And I'm gonna split them in half. And then basically, put them side by side. And we're just gonna do moon shapes. So about half an inch. And then as they get a little bit bigger, you can go slightly less than half an inch. So it all cooks evenly. So now we're gonna get that in our bowl with the rest of our eggplant that I already chopped. I'm gonna add half an onion and then we're gonna add our tomatoes. So what I'm gonna do with the tomatoes is just put a slit in each of them. That's gonna help the oil get inside the tomato, cook it faster. Now we're gonna add uh, juniper berries, three whole cloves of garlic, add the juice of half a lemon, right in there, nice and bright flavors. Also bright flavors, we're gonna add five sprigs of thyme, and then we're gonna add our oil. So basically here I have half olive oil, half grapeseed oil. So in, in total it's about three to four quarts of oil. And if you're, if you're doing confit the correct way, you actually want everything submerged. So we're gonna see how much oil this is, if we need to add any more. Let's see. I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. Get this fully covered. So it's closer to like four quarts of oil. Half grapeseed oil, half olive oil. So now we're gonna get this on the burner. And confit means low and slow. So we're gonna get this on low heat. Let it warm up gently. And this is gonna go for about 45 minutes to an hour until everything is soft and cooked. All right, guys. So as you can see, the confit is done. It's a bit about 45 minutes. And you see the bubbles coming up. That means all the water from the vegetables coming out. So we're gonna take our cherry tomatoes. I'm gonna to set that aside. I'm gonna use that for the pasta. Take out the herbs. Now I'm gonna add, um, just before I do that, I'm gonna add some salt to our boiling water. Now it's really gonna boil. So roughly you wanna add, for every, every two quarts of water, you wanna add one tablespoon of salt. 
So now back to the confit. I'm gonna take just enough for the pasta. So I'm making pasta for two to three people. So I'm gonna take out what I need. So if you wanna store this, ideally let the oil cool down till it's room temperature. And then you could store it in the fridge, cover it up with the oil. And I know this looks like a lot of oil, but actually you just need what you need. And then you can use this oil, it's flavored oil now, you can use this to spread on bread, you can use it for, you know, so many other dishes. The possibilities are endless. So that looks like a good amount for a pasta. We got some garlic cloves in there, we got some cooked onions, and of course the uh, Chinese eggplant. So these uh, tomatoes are resting, just a little bit of pressure, take it off the vine. You know, if you don't have these on the stem, you don't have to worry about that. There we go. So right now I'm gonna get my pan on medium heat. I'm gonna add some of this confit oil into the pan, about a tablespoon. And to that I'm gonna add garlic. I have some sliced garlic and oil. The oil helps preserve it if you slice it. That's gonna go right in. And then we're also gonna add four or five anchovies. That's gonna give flavor, salt. Anchovies are packed with omega-3 fatty acids, got protein, minerals, so it's very healthy for you. And a little touch more oil, just to coat. There you go. I'm gonna let this bubble, let the anchovies melt away, let the garlic get a little bit crispy. Yeah, so it's starting to bubble. You know, we have action, so it's cooking away. So the reason I have uh, some garlic from the confit, and the reason that I have uh, some garlic that I'm gonna slice here is, so this, this garlic that's kind of melting away is gonna flavor the oil to make it garlic oil. And then of course it's gonna get a little nutty and brown, so it's gonna add a little bit of those um, those uh, slightly bitter notes that's gonna help elevate this pasta dish. And then we're gonna add red pepper flakes, so it's gonna add a little bit of heat, so there's there's a good balance of flavors going on here. Add another minute or two on this. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prepare the bread. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a spread with the confit and a little bit of uh, some French goat cheese. So I just wanna, I wanna toast this bread. So I'm using a little bit of that flavored oil here. I can smell everything. I can smell the garlic, I can smell the anchovy. It smells incredible. Just gonna brush that, and then uh, we're gonna toast it for two or three minutes. You don't wanna burn it. Just a little bit crispy. That's why I chose the French bread because the textures here are slightly soft, so I want a contrast. So that's why I chose a crunchy bread. Starting to brown a little bit. Now I'm gonna throw in the papadelli pasta. I'm gonna boil that for three minutes. Okay, garlic is starting to brown. Another 10 seconds. Now we're gonna go with the red pepper flakes, right in there. So it can infuse in the oil. Throw in the cherry tomatoes, in there. Now we're working. I'm going in with the eggplant and the onions. I'm gonna make a sauce. Go in a little white pepper. Everything's cooked already, we're just kind of warming it up. So I'm gonna take the bread out, it's been toasted. I'm gonna let that cool. Our pasta's ready. Three minutes, al dente. Now what the secret ingredient is, so you never wanna add oil to your pasta water. 
I mean, you, if your grandma tells it, you know, that's fine. Just keep it in the family. But for this purposes, we're not going to do that because it's we want that starch. The starch is actually going to help the pasta stick to the sauce. So we're going to add a ladle, which is about half a cup of the uh, pasta water in there. We're going to hit it with a little bit of salt there. And then um, a little bit of lemon juice. Reintroduce a little bit of acid, and then we're going with the pasta. I'm just going to ladle this out, make this it's delicate, so you want to be kind of gentle with it. Right there. Right there. Now we're just going to toss the pasta. I'm gonna add a little bit of butter, add some fresh spinach in there, fresh parsley, and a quarter of a cup. And now we're just gonna marry all the flavors together. We just wanna be gentle with this. Spinach is gonna cook very fast. You know, I wanted to keep it at the end to preserve all the nutrients and flavors. Let's try the sauce, see how it is. It's gonna be hot. Mmm, very good. And now I'm gonna grate a little Parmesan cheese. It's right over. It's gonna melt in the sauce. Spit them out. Looks really good. Perfect summer dish. Now let's plate. So I'm just gonna add some uh, some fresh parsley for garnish. Now we're gonna plate. So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Kind of bring it here and spin it at the same time. Want some of the vegetables in there too. Look at that. Very good. Now I'm going to take some bread. I'm going to take some, uh, this is some French goat cheese, so it's very soft. It's not too salty either. I'm just going to spread it here. So this is like a really nice appetizer you can make for parties, for yourself, significant other. I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna take a little bit of the eggplant. Top. See, so you could turn it into a pasta. You could put it as a spread on bread. It's really soft. There you go. Add a little garnish. A little garnish to our pasta. And then you could put one right here to serve. There you go. Look at this wonderful summer pasta. Thank you guys. Love making this episode. Stay tuned to more episodes. I'm going to be doing really interesting dishes, my own take on food. Can't wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Take care.